Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about cellular communication. You know we have different kind of cells present in our body. They work together in a coordinated manner and initiate different kind of tasks. So here we say this is communication between cells. We direct the cells what to do and what not to do. Second thing is that it regulates and modulates cellular functions in our body. Third important point here to note is that it installs a signaling pathway between target cells and signal producing cells. And we see this process, it occurs in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Now we will see what is the basic principle that lies behind cellular communication. We see here it is based on three core communication processes. First one is called reception, where the surface, membrane or intracellular receptors receive signal from extracellular molecules. Second thing is here is that transduction. Signal transduction is called where a modified signal gets transduced towards its target point, mainly it's the nucleus of the cell. And ultimately we have cellular response, which may be activation, deactivation or modification of certain cellular processes. The pathway of this communication process is as reception, then transduction and then response. And it all occurs in a target cell, but it's initiated by a signal producing cell. When we see a cell that signal receiving cell, it has got intracellular receptors as well as surface receptors. But in that case, we will see the cell surface receptor or we can say membrane bound receptor. So a signal producing cell sends a signal via molecule which has specific receptors for its reception in a cell. So here we see a cell modifies its receptor protein on receiving a signal through different mechanism like we see we have the addition of phosphates or we have removal of it and so vice versa. And this in turn modifies attached signaling protein to it and we get relay molecules which transduces this signal towards target site. And these relay molecules signaling constitute signal transduction because these relay molecules are the molecules that gets remodified in a way to promote this signal towards the target site. And ultimately we get a response in the form of activation, deactivation or modification of certain genes or cellular processes. So from reception through signal transduction and ultimately the response from a cell. This all constitutes the basic principle of cellular communication. So guys this was all about principle of signal transduction in a really simple and basic manner. Guys thanks for watching the video. Do support this channel by hitting a like button and make sure to subscribe.